very good morning to all of you today is sujatha here going to start chapter number 13 the tempest tempest means some storm the farm okay so this story is basically an act written by william shakespeare in 1564 to 1616 was an english poet uh, who written play rights uh, who has tried play rights he is regarded as the greatest writer in english language and often called the barrett of avon he has written this play there are different characters i am going to describe step by step but uh, first briefly i am going to tell you that this story is totally depend on magic okay and uh, there are different characters first character is prospero who is the main character of this play and the second character we are going to discuss miranda that is daughter of prospero okay so one day prospero a magician tells his daughter miranda the story of their past a story he had often started narrating before but never completed The story is about they had arrived twelve years ago on the island where they live now. They are living on a basically an island. Before uh, they came here before twelve years, and to know the story, read this. Ah, uh, we have to read this all play. The name as Tempest. Far away, a lonely island. Lonely island means individually an island where they were living. Miranda and Prospero. they lived a wise old man his daughter wise old man known as prospero and his daughter the man was prospero a magician as i already told you here prospero the main character the daughter was miranda a lovely young lady of 16 near about age is 16 prospero knew so much of the art of magic he knew uh, he is basically a magician and he knew number of magic art he was able to command the spirits of the island to obey him spirits means supernatural creature that such as elves and fairies can go through by obeying the prospero the chief of these gentle spirits was ariel ariel was basically a spirit okay the three person was living first is prospero miranda and one is ariel that knew by only prospero and miranda nobody other knew that about ariel that who is spirit it is not a, a lively hood gentleman but just a spirit a lively little creature who has not only devoted to his master but also full of mischief ariel was invisible to all eyes but prospero okay prospero living prospero we can see uh, everybody uh, not able to see but only prospero can see prospero and trusted his most important task to him interested means making responsible okay made him for responsible for so he always include that spirit okay ariel who is known as the spirit uh, he making number of interest on him one day prospero raised a fearful storm by means of his magic power he took his daughter to the beach to watch this ship as you can see he took his daughter to watch that ship okay that time struggling against the wind and waves number of waves uh, going through up and down wind is going uh, blow from there but the ship seemed likely to sink at any moment it is showing like that that ship can be sink at any moment those on board seemed like to be drawn everybody is going to be uh going down hearing that those on the ship were human beings who were there human beings as she and her her father were miranda was filled with pity they both having pity on them miranda and prospero okay oh my dear father she cried she started cried that my father if you have raised this dreadful storm if you make this dreadful storm with your magic then we have a pity on the people abroad the ship we should have pity on that people who are abroading on the ship please don't let them drown don't be anxious my child he said that don't worry my child uh, he is telling to miranda you no need to worry her father comfort her 
no one is going to be harmed so here no one is going to be harmed he paused and then went on he moving from there miranda the time has come for me to tell you everything he said that we have a time to tell you everything 12 years ago i was the duke of milan duke means a male member from a high social rank okay from milan you all my only child and you was the my only child were a princess my only here she is going to be princess okay even at that time my chief interest was study of magic who was the interest of their chief that is a magic i spent most of the time in my study with my books he said that i spent number of time with my study i left management of duke dom duke dom a area where that is gone by a government to my younger brother antonio now this is the third character who was the younger brother of prospero okay write this character on your notebook okay first character was prospero second character was milan daughter of prospero and the third character was antonio okay the younger brother i trusted him but he turned to be false now he is going to cheat and traitors as you will see he plotted to rob me of my dukedom and he was able to do so with eight of his ili the king of naples now he has done something wrong with me my cunning brother put us in a rotten board he said that in this way we are in a struggle in a rotten board without oars and sails and pushed us out the sea so we don't have any kind of oars and sails he pushed us in a sea he thought that he would certainly perish now he is going to be a uh, going to be a king fortunately a kind old man named gonzalo saved us now another person came gonzalo who saved that prospero and miranda okay students so listen carefully now how many character prospero miranda then antonio who is the youngest brother of prospero now we have which is gonzalo who saved both of them he had placed in the boat water provisions apparel and something i most praised namely my books on magic thanks to gonzalo we were able to reach this island of ours so in this way they gave us number of facilities due to that uh, things we reached this island where we are still living now prospero continued i shall tell you why i have raised this fearful storm now he is telling that why i have raised this kind of storm on the ship over there are my enemy he said that there are now my enemies are there my younger brother antonio and the king of naples who is the king of naples they will be cast ashore and i shall meet them face to face now he is saying that they will going to move this side so i'll meet him face to face they will be in my power now they are including in my power so they will be at my mercy now they will come to me prospero fell silent now he was silent he touched his daughter with his magic wand and made her fall asleep now he made him sleep while having some magic on her ariel who was spirit had just appeared to tell his master what he had done with the passengers and crew of the ship miranda would not have been alarmed if she not seen her father talking about the empty ear he said that miranda is not going to be know something if he is talking about the empty ear well my brave spirit how have you performed your task prospero asked to ariel ariel was i am already telling uh, a number of time telling that ariel was just a spirit ariel gave a lively description of the storm and the terror it caused and how the king's son ferdinand now who is the son of king ferdinand his younger brother son antonio son okay was the first to jump into the sea who is going to jump ferdinand you have done well my gentle spirit now go and bring the young prince here okay he said that you have to go and bring the young one prince here my daughter must see him prospero prospero said that 
my daughter needs to see them smiled at some secret thought now he is going to smile prospero smiled for some secret thought this is all about this chapter in the first month we continue from here in the second part of this chapter thank you have a good day